What happened was, is Dr Wood rang me up and said that I have to go to Barnstable Hospital straight away. I brought me potassium, to have an, it's so high. So then he said I can't drive. I said, well, I live in the middle of nowhere. And of course, my mum was ill at the time. And they had to take me mum and myself drive down to Barnstable Hospital and then have another test done. And then everything was all right. Mm -hmm. Actually, I felt really relieved. It was, it was just so hard. So it's just going down to Barnstable Hospital from Powerless Peace is a way, you know, it's a fair way to go. And this has happened three times now. And, you know, I really panicked. I thought, oh, don't say I'm going to be staying in hospital, you know. The way, the way they explained it, it's like you have, it's an emergency. And I, did, I just panicked. I didn't know what to do. And then, of course, it's the inconvenience going down there and having it done, mm -hmm. waiting a couple of hours to have this test done, and then to say it's OK, and then I've got to drive back home. Yeah, it did frighten me, literally frighten me. I thought I was dying. Mm -hmm. I really did. You don't really know um, whether this is a true reading or not. You'll have your suspicions, but again, you can't you can't be 100% certain and that it will be catastrophic to get this wrong. So in almost all cases you end up sending this patient to hospital even though you feel that the, the result is probably spurious. Yeah, well every time Dr Wood rang me up I just said, oh not again, because I, I was dreading having blood tests done. I kept putting it off and I said, no, no, I don't want blood tests done. I said, because I know exactly what's going to happen. I was happy. Mm -hmm. We got this special machine for you, she said. <laughs> so it was like a relief for me that I don't have to do this anymore, you know. And I believe that since we've introduced the centrifuging system into general practice, um, well, into the Bradworthy surgery, things have now got to a stage where, whereby we get very, very few readings which are abnormal, and those readings are, which are abnormal now are virtually always 100% trustworthy and so it's, uh, it's reduced our stress, it's better for the patients because it leads to much less in the way of inconveniences on their time and their lifestyles. And, and we see these big winter peaks of um, high potassiums up to about 6% of mm -hmm. your blood tests go high in the winter dropping down to less than 1% in the summer, so probably artifactual low potassium yes. in the summer. And then since you've put the centrifuge in here, you, you didn't see any rise in the winter at all here, so it stayed completely flat over the winter, whereas the rest of Devon saw this uh, typical winter increase. So I think that's sort of, that's interesting that we've seen that, that's, that you've managed to do that by centrifuging all your samples. Yes. Um, and and then that actually that consequence of you now trusting your high results um, and actually knowing that those patients now need to go into hospital. I spoke to the nursing team with re with regard to this very with this very matter and saying is this particularly inconvenient to your lifestyle to to your working day and all the nurses who are spinning down every sample say no this is not in it's not really inconveniencing them in any way which i think is important we made the story a bit more explicit and we showed that it could be solved so we saw two practices which had done something um and and then with the story of sam um, it sort of all fell into place, didn't it? Mm. So we had the data, we had enthusiasm from the practice, we had the patient story which made people feel this was something important to do. And then actually things happen very quickly then when those things are in place. And so it's, it's working together as a team, I think, isn't it? With the, with the practices, with the nurses, with the patients, with the lab, everybody really coming together and seeing the problem as one that can be solved. The learning is always go back to the patient stories, find the data to support it and then talk to the 
people who are you know everybody who's involved and and good things happen when you do do that i'm so pleased now that they've got this special machine mm -hmm. where they can test the blood mm -hmm. and it can stop anybody else do it, having the same thing as me going into hospital driving into hospital and having the same thing done mm -hmm.